So why have we developed this uh, for uh, CHP industrial steam boilers is because, well, two things. Firstly, you might not have any water treatment. Instantly, an RO doesn't have to be this big. It could be from any size uh, industrial boiler. One, two, three, four ton of steam an hour, up to 40, 50, 60, 80 ton an hour and beyond. Um, and the reason is, if you don't have any water treatment, you're gonna save money because of gas. We've got plenty of other videos that you can look through our LinkedIn and YouTube channels for. But um, we're talking now about existing uh, customers. This one's for an existing customer. They've got a, a, a big uh, iron exchange D-min plant that produces, you know, water quality that an RO is well suited to produce. I think less than 10 micro siemens, which is all, which is all good. However, they've got to bulk store the chemicals and then we're still experiencing quite a lot of uh, increased caustic costs because of uh, increased energy costs. It's getting passed down. So whereas caustic used to be a commodity chemical, it's now being costed at more of a speciality chemical, which is having a big impact. And then as uh, the environment um, is getting tighter regulated on discharge consent and you pay more for your effluent, being discharged, an RO can kind of sit in that middle ground, whereas it doesn't really need any bulk storage chemicals uh, to do a regen. Um, the Mogden formula for United uh, for utilities effluent is slightly better, or maybe the the utility company still requires you to to put it through some sort of uh, effluent treatment, but because it comes out at a fairly decent pH, it can assist your other processes that you've got on site. Um, and we're finding that there's loads of great use for RO um, in industrial boiler settings. Uh, and then using the HydroSIP dual, we then start to see more of these energy efficiency savings and it just reduces the amount of electricity. So typically with an iron exchange plant, you'll have regeneration pumps, uh, you'll have many separate systems, so you might have additional pumps needed. Then you've got downtime to consider because when one's regenerating, it could be a, a two, three, four, even six hour regeneration times before it's back online. So now you need an, uh, another stream to keep up. And then the streams might be ineffective. Some customers that we're seeing, the CHP plants were built in the late 80s, early 90s, all the way up to 2000s. And they're just over specced and oversized for what they need. So they've got great big pumps and you know the flow rate unfortunately is diminished over the years. Uh, they might need refurbing. Now's the time to start thinking about the capex and the opex of what you uh, require as a business. And in the case of industrial steam boilers, an RO is now beating uh, a DI plant. The technology and the membranes of have increased exponentially. Uh, they're really good, you can have super low pressures, so we don't need big pressures. The efficiency has gone up. Uh, we, we've got a, a, a basic platform for our HydroSIP range, the HydroSIP dual range, the HydroSIP uh, range, but we tailor it to what you need. So we'll always design to the coldest water that you'll have, which needs the biggest pressure. But then in the summer months, uh, when you don't need that pressure, you know, we'll run at higher permeate flow rates or we'll reduce the permeate flow rate and keep the, the, the conductivity at the set point that you desire. So we build everything bespoke and because we do that, we can now push our energy efficiency even higher. So it used to be a standard rule that you'd run at 75% efficiency um, or recovery rate. What does recovery rate mean? For every litre of water that I put into an RO, 75% of it will go as treated and 25% will be a waste stream. So they used to be quite inefficient, but because we design them to the customer and we base it on what your requirements will be, some sites might have a borehole and they don't really care about how much water they use. That's brilliant, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll move the recovery set point to how we see fit. But then some are buying utilities water, paying two pounds per thousand liters. So they wanna absolutely nail on uh, the, the recovery and the efficiency of how they use their water. So then 
Uh, I think this one um, is running at 86 point something uh, percent recovery. And then because we utilize the permeate flush tank in the way that we do, then we're still very confident and we, uh, you know, we put a, um, a membrane failure um, of uh, membrane life expectancy uh, that surpasses what the OEM of the membrane says. Between three and five years, we say five to seven years because we keep good, good control and quality checks on it. So 86% recovery, uh, so we're doing even better with that. And then we've got other projects ongoing. They've got a cooling tower, we, we send the concentrate off uh, to be used as cooling tower, we obviously get the concentrate analysed and we make sure that we pass it on to the, uh, to the cooling water to, to check. So we'll, we'll capture that and whereas you would use raw water to go into your cooling towers, we're now using the con uh, concentrate. So all along the stage, we're constantly looking, how can we save you water? How can we save you energy? Um, how can we reduce your gas bill, feed it with RO? And not only that, if you've got existing DI plants, which a lot of customers do have, are they as efficient? Do you want the headache of having the insurance for storing hydrochloric acid and, and caustic acid or even sulfuric acid, uh, caustic soda and, and sulfuric acid and the like? Uh, and then, all, you know, all the insurance that comes with bulk storage of tanks, getting them inspected and things, uh, things like that. So an RO is proving now in 2023 to be kind of the go-to choice between uh, steam generation and, and industrial RO is certainly there. And the unique thing about the hydrostatic dual is I mentioned before that you can have a twin pass. So we, instead of having duty, duty standby uh, assist, uh, we'll have duty duty, but the permeate from the first stage feeds the next stage and then we're, we're into the realms of ultra pure or, or getting down to ultra pure uh, water levels. And then there's other things that we can do on the back of that. We've got uh, a bolt on uh, EDI system that you can bolt onto the back to now start really driving your waters to, to not, less than 0 0.1 microsiemens. Um, and it's all based around the Hydrosit Dual uh, platform, which was designed and developed in-house. In Ready to purchase now. Uh, thank you for your time.